Welcome back, day five of From Passion to Profit, and here's another puzzle piece, and it is content and copywriting. Today we're going to talk about that. Content and copywriting go hand in hand. When you're creating content, whether it's for a blog post, writing an article, uh, an email follow-up, or a sales page, you want to be thinking of copywriting when you write those. Copywriting is using words to promote something. Marketing copy is used to persuade the reader to act. For example, um, buy something. If they're on a sales page, you want to be using your uh, copywriting skills to persuade them to take action and make the purchase. Or to subscribe to your opt-in list. Or open open an email. If you uh, don't have good copy on your email headlines, right, you're not going to open it. They're not going to go to your email, they're not going to click on the link in your email because they never opened it and you're not going to make that sale or whatever or send them to your content. A lot of people do email dumping myself. I have 50 emails sitting there. I'm on a lot of people's email lists, you know. So I'm like, just scan through the headlines. If it doesn't look like it would benefit me, why exchange my time to go through it, right? So you want to write a good headline to make it worth their time. Same thing with a blog post. You're uh, creating a blog post and you have a bad headline and the reader doesn't see how he would benefit from going through your blog post and they're going to make that snap decision uh, this blog post isn't worth my time because you haven't made it appear so in your headline so spend a lot of time working on your headlines um, and not so much on the content and I mean like place priority on the headline because you know if you miss on the headline they're not, no one's going to see the content so make sure your headlines are good always work on that um, the job of a good headline is to compel the reader to take action, which is going to the next step. Reading your opening sentence or uh, a headline of a video even, because I do a lot of videos, you know, a good headline is going to help them click play. Oh, I'd like to watch the video. And obviously it's an exchange of time again. So you want to make sure there's a good headline there. Um, provide the benefit to the reader or the viewer. Always try and incorporate the benefit, if you can, in a headline. Some, some types of headlines that work well are a how-to headline. You know, a, another one is a why, and then make a statement. Uh, I'll write some examples under the video of, of these ones right here, but I just want to tell you them. Uh, sorry, I have it written here. Oh, being really direct, okay, is another way. Like, just being straight up with them, you know. And another one is ask a question that involves the reader. So look under the video, you'll see some written examples of, of those types of headlines at work. But even better under the video, which you might have just noticed, is a link to uh, a nice resource that I use. It's a swipe file of great headlines and great copy. If you're creating bullet points, any type of copy, uh, you know, there are like fill-in-the-blank headlines almost. Because I'm not the best copywriter in the world, but I understand it's important. So definitely check out that swipe file after the video. If you're optimizing for keywords, um, you know, if it helps people find you, keywords in your niche, and if you're doing search engine optimization for anything, or, you know, even just a simple video on YouTube, you want to make sure you include a keyword in the title as well. One way on improving your copywriting skills is becoming aware of them. You know, keep an eye open for what types of headlines are let, you know, making you click on stuff. You know, what types of headlines are they using in magazines on the checkout? You know, what type uh, bullet points are you seeing? You know, when you're reading something, see how they write to you that makes you feel emotions and take action. Take a note of that. The more aware you become, the better you will become. Um, call to action. That's another copywriting skill. Creating an excellent call to action. If you're creating content, you know, why are you creating that content? What do you want them to do next? And your call to action is usually at the end of your content. You want to tell them what to do. And, and now, you want to tell them what to do now. A lot of people, you know, if you don't tell them what to do now, they'll go next and they'll go away. But you have a chance now to, like, hey, go do this. Go check out this product. Go click here. Go do that. Okay, something really important that I want you guys to remember is when you're creating content, make sure it's top quality, okay? You want to, you know, people are exchanging their time. They're, and if you don't make a good impression with your content, they won't come back to you. They're like, oh, that guy doesn't come with good content. So you want to make sure it's top quality so you rise above all the competition. Okay? Um, and if you do that, if you have good content, people are going to share it. You know, we live in a viral internet now. It's like everything's being shared on Facebook and stuff like that. So you have a good chance of people sharing your content with other people and then more people. And then you just get a flood of traffic. And you're going to build a following. You're going to get more followers on any of those social media sites because, you know, people are 
love your content and content is king so you definitely want to create the highest piece of content that you can the best that you can you know and don't try and be perfect either you know don't get strung out on being perfect just make it really good and come up with a good headline and people are going to love it uh, share it with me guys I want to know what types of content you guys are creating share it with us you know uh, on our YouTube channel leave comments on our videos or or wherever we're hanging out you know feel free to share what you guys are doing and ask questions if you guys still need help let's get into today's action steps guys that's you know it's a little short video today but I want you guys to write five headlines and then choose one of them and create your first blog post if you haven't already so do that take action um, thanks for watching our video again today and don't forget our little bonus resource under the video for that uh, six uh, swipe file and so you can help write those five headlines out and tomorrow we're going to talk about the lifeblood of our business and that is traffic and we're going to go over some free methods and some paid methods uh, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow